Welcome to Amazing Dinosaurs, I'm Dave, and this is a collection of Jurassic World's most popular carnivores. Let's get started with this huge Spinosaurus in the back over here. This figure is actually pretty special. It is the battle damage Spinosaurus that is pretty hard to find now. It can even open up its ribs and show its stomach inside. Next up, we've got a classic T-Rex figure from Camp Cretaceous. This is the epic Roaring T-Rex. As you can see, it has a controllable neck and jaw, and you can also move its arms and its legs too. Next up is the massive Indominus Rex figure. This figure from Jurassic World is even larger than many of my T-Rex figures. It has a button on the tail to control the jaw, and you can see that it actually has a little compartment to eat smaller dinosaurs, and a button on its back to slash the arms. Next, we've got the Giganotosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This figure has some of the coolest attack buttons that I've seen. The first one is a massive slashing action, and then there's also a jaw chomping button too. Back here, we've got the new T-Rex figure from the new 93 Jurassic Park collection. It has a bright red body with a yellow underbelly, and this figure has the stomach compartment, so you can actually feed it a ton of smaller dinosaurs. Next up is the new Hunt and Chomp T-Rex from the Dino Trackers collection. It's got the headpiece and a really cool attack feature. It's got a little side-to-side -side chomping action. Here's another carnivore that I bought recently. This is the new Legacy Collection T-Rex. It has a dark green body with some detailing along the top, a fully posable neck and head. You can adjust the legs, the arms, and the tail. And of course, there's a button at the top for chomping the jaw. Here is another Legacy Collection T-Rex, but this one is a bit older than the previous one. It still has a green body with different accenting along the top, and you can adjust the neck, the legs, the arms, and the tail, and there's the button for chomping and roaring. Here is the Scorpios Rex figure from Camp Cretaceous. It's got a black body with the yellow underbelly. It has a spring-loaded tail for those poisonous quills, and it has two buttons on its back, one for chomping its jaw, and one for slashing its arms. This next carnivore is the Jurassic World Dominion Battle Damage T-Rex. It has the dark orange brown coloring with detailing along the top and the battle damage on the side that you can turn on and off with the click of a button. Here's another carnivore from Jurassic World Dominion. This is the Battle Damage Allosaurus. It is one of the largest Allosaurus figures I have and it has huge battle damage right here on the side. And just like the Spinosaurus we saw earlier, you can lift up the ribs and see the stomach underneath. And not only that, but it also has a chomping button on its back to activate its sound effects. This next carnivore is an older figure. This is a Jurassic Park vintage figure. I believe this is the Utah Raptor. It has the real feel skin texture along its body, although its arms and its legs are hard plastic. Check that out. You can even move the claws on its feet up and down too. And it has a whole body chomping motion when you press down on its tail. Here's another older figure, but not quite as old as Jurassic Park. This is from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and this is an Indoraptor figure, specifically the Grab and Growl Indoraptor. It's one of my larger figures of this species, and you can use the tail to move the head around in a really lifelike way. There's also a button to swing its arms and a button to chomp its jaw, too. This next figure is one that I just bought. It is the Hammond Collection Irritator figure. So let's open it up and check it out. And here it is, the brand new Irritator figure. It obviously looks pretty similar to the other Irritator figures, but it has a new color scheme. It's kind of like a gray-brown color over most of its body with these bright yellow stripes running all the way to its tail. And on its head, it has a lot of black on its nose and on its chin, and its crown is a bright orange color. And of course, since it's a Hammond Collection figure, it is super poseable and adjustable to make it look really lifelike when you're posing it on your display shelf. The next carnivore is a Carnotaurus figure, and I believe this figure is from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, so it's a pretty old figure too. It has the red coloring on the side and kind of a purplish coloring on the top, and a single button for a chomping action. 
I've got another T-Rex here, but this one's pretty special. This is a custom painted camo T-Rex. And not only that, but it is also a battle damage T-Rex. You can see right there that you can still flip it to reveal the battle damage underneath. That is a really good job that they did painting that. And you can see that it's got bright green all over, some browns, some blacks, that'll really make it blend into the jungle. This carnivore right over here is called the Pyroraptor. You probably recognize this from the Jurassic World Dominion movie. And this figure is the basic edition, so there's no attack feature but you can still adjust its legs, its arms, and its tail too. I've still got quite a few more T-Rexes in here. This one is a bright orange and brown T-Rex, and it has the fully posable body and the button at the top of the head to activate the chomping action. I believe this next dinosaur figure is called the Ichthyovenator. It has a dark green body and a super bright neon green coloring along its spine, along its back, and along its tail. And interestingly, this is one of the few figures that has a spine on its tail. And this figure has an attack feature that when you press down on its body, it has a chomping action. Here is another T-Rex. This is the Battle Damage Edition T-Rex. So like the camouflage T-Rex that we saw earlier, but this is the normal painting for it. You can see that it has a soft brown coloring with some gray along the top and a yellow underbelly. And there's the button at the top of its back to activate the battle damage. Plus its head and neck are fully adjustable too. Here's a smaller carnivore figure. This is a Pteranodon figure. This one comes in the gray coloring and it has some purple detailing on its feet, on some of its wingtip, and all over its head too. Plus it has a button on its back to activate a wing flapping action. This carnivore figure I believe is called the Ceratosaurus. It has some gray coloring with some darker detailing and the bright red along its back and all over its face. Plus it has a slide lever action on its back for sound effects and chomping. Now let's open up our next brand new dinosaur figure to add to my collection. This is the Hammond Collection Metriacanthosaurus, and it is part of the Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary. Here it is. It's a pretty unique looking dinosaur. Its head shape is quite a bit different, and it has a pretty cool color scheme too. It's got some bright orange on its face, and then some light tan on its body with the darker streaks on the top. And of course, it is super poseable. You can pose it in all different lifelike ways. Up next in the carnivore collection is another T-Rex in the classic brown coloring. This figure is very similar to the others in that you can pose the arms, the legs, the tail, the neck, and the head has the button at the top for the chomping action. I've got another Allosaurus figure in this carnivore collection. This one is in a dark green coloring with some white and red detailing. And it has an action on its back for sound effects and a chomping action. This next figure is actually another Allosaurus figure, but it is from the vintage Jurassic Park collection. And it's a battle damage Allosaurus, so you can actually take off whole parts of its body to reveal the battle damage underneath. Check that out. You can see the bones right here, and you can see some of its organs in there too. And here is another T-Rex figure, one of the most popular carnivore figures in Jurassic World. This T-Rex figure has a sound effect button on the bottom of its foot, so you can hear stomp sound effects, although it's out of batteries right now. And you can use the tail for a roaring action and moving it side to side, as well as a chomping action. That is pretty cool. Next up is a green Baryonyx figure. It also has some brown detailing and darker green along its back. Plus it has the action button on its back for sound effects and chomping. I've got a Velociraptor figure in here in the orange version. Now this figure is a basic edition, so it doesn't have any big attack feature, but of course you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail. Here's another Velociraptor figure. This one I believe is from the Amber Collection. So it is super poseable and has a slightly better detailing and paint job on it. This next weird looking figure is a Giganotosaurus figure. You can open up its mouth, but it is actually from the Gujitsu series. So you can actually stretch it and you can see that there's tiny little beads inside. So it's kind of like a stress ball. Up next is another Pteranodon figure, but this one is in a dark green coloring 
It has a light underbelly and some bright green detailing along its wings. And of course it has the button on its back for the flapping action. Here is another Velociraptor figure. I believe this one is from the Hammond collection though. So it's quite small, but it is extremely poseable and it has much better shading and detailing than most of the typical Velociraptor figures. The next carnivore is another Monolophosaurus figure. I believe this one is from Camp Cretaceous and it has the green body with the yellow detailing and the red along the top of its face. Plus it has an action button that when you move the tail, it has a chomping action. This is another one of those Gujitsu figures and this is a Mosasaurus figure. You can open up its jaw and it has the squishy body that you can stretch around and you can actually squeeze the body to reveal what's on the inside. And it looks like a bunch of fish bones in there. Here's another Monolophosaurus figure. This one is in a super bright green coloring with the darker green and red along the top of its face with the same chomping action as the one we just saw. Right over here is another Velociraptor figure. This one is green, it has some gray, and some really cool green detailing along its back. And here is another Gujitsu figure. This is a Pyroraptor, so you can open and close its mouth, and its body, once again, is squishy, and this one is super stretchy. And I think you can actually see something on the inside. There we go, there are some feathers, it looks like on the inside of its body. Over here is a miniature Dilophosaurus figure. It has frills that you can open and close that are super bright. They've got yellow and red coloring, while the rest of its body is a green color. This figure is a juvenile T-Rex figure, so it is a whole lot smaller than many of the other T-Rex figures that I've shown you, and it has the bright green coloring and a chomping action when you move its tail. And finally, we've got Velociraptor Blue. This figure specifically, I think, is from the Snap Squad. So you can actually press it down and it snaps shut and it'll actually cling on to stuff. Today, we're gonna be checking out a collection of some of my scariest carnivore dinosaurs from biggest to smallest. And we're gonna be putting them up over here to check them out side by side. So let's get started with the biggest one, the Indominus Rex. This figure is absolutely massive. It is larger than a lot of my T-Rex figures. And this is actually the Battle Damage Edition. See, it turns red when you press the button, which is really cool. Plus, the rest of the body is very adjustable. You can move all its arms, its legs, you can adjust its neck, and it even has a button on its tail to activate the jaw. So let's go ahead and set the Indominus Rex down at the edge right over here. Moving on, let's see what the next largest dinosaur is. Probably the Giganotosaurus. This is another super large figure. It's got the green body with the black detailing all over, and it has a few actions actually as well. The first action is a button on the top of its tail that activates the swinging action with its entire upper torso. And there's also a button beneath its tail to activate just the jaw alone. All right, let's put this Giganotosaurus down right next to the Indominus Rex. And look at the size difference even between those two as well. That's pretty crazy. All right, next up, let's see. I bet it's one of the T-Rexes and it's probably the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. This figure has some awesome coloring and shading and is the most poseable out of basically all my T-Rex figures. And an interesting feature of the Hammond collection is the realistic parts of its mouth. It's got these flaps on its side that are rubber, so they actually move around pretty realistically. The tongue is also rubberized as well. Let's put this Hammond collection T-Rex right next to the Giganotosaurus. All right, I bet the next biggest one is this other T-Rex figure. This is a Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex. It's got some brand new coloring. It's got the orange brown color and some gray detailing on the top. And this is actually an extreme battle damage T-Rex. You can press the button to reveal the damage on its side, just like that Indominus Rex over there. So since this is the next biggest T-Rex, let's put it down right next to the Hammond Collection T-Rex. All right, looking pretty good so far. Next up in size is this Allosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This is the largest Allosaurus figure that I have, and it actually has some battle damage on the side. Let me show you that. Right here, you see it's hidden completely right now, but then you can click it down to reveal the ribs, and then you can even lift those up to reveal the intestines inside. This is really cool, and the only Allosaurus that I have that can do that. 
Plus, it has an action button on its back to activate the jaw. Let's put this Allosaurus down right next to the Extreme Battle Damage T-Rex. Let's see, what's next biggest in size? I think it might be this Endoraptor right here. This thing's pretty large. It's got the all black body with the iconic gold stripe down its side. And this one actually has a few actions. You can see there's a little button on its tail right there to activate its arms. And there's a button at the bottom of its tail to activate its jaw too. All right, let's set this Endoraptor down next to the Allosaurus. That Allosaurus is quite a bit larger. All right, let's keep digging. I think this Carnotaurus might be the next largest size. It's got some battle damage on its nose and it is the darker brown version of the Carnotaurus. And it has the action button on its tail to activate the jaw as well. Let's set it down. You know what? I think it might be larger than the Endoraptor. So let's go ahead and have them switch places real quick. There we go. That's looking better. Over here, we've got another Carnotaurus figure, but this one is smaller than the one that I just showed you. And it is a bit more brightly colored. It's a brighter red. It has the light underbelly and then the black detailing on the top. And it has an action button on its back instead of its tail to activate the jaw. All right, let's set it down right next to the Endoraptor. Let's see, I think the next biggest carnivore in this collection is a Tarbosaurus. And this is definitely a scary looking carnivore. Check out that red underneath its chin and those red eyes too. And all those spikes, those are massive. Let's put this down right next to the Carnotaurus. Check out all those dinosaurs we have so far. Super cool. All right, let's see, next in size, maybe this other Allosaurus figure right here. This Allosaurus has a slide lever action on its back, so you get a bunch of different sound effects with it. You can get a growl all the way to a roar. All right, let's set this dinosaur down right next to the Tarbosaurus, and it is quite a bit smaller than the Tarbosaurus. Next up, I think, is the Giganotosaurus. This is the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus, so a whole lot smaller than the one that we saw earlier, but it has the same coloring and detailing, and it has sound effects that you can hear that you can activate by pressing this button up top. All right, let's set it down right next to the Allosaurus. They're actually pretty similar in size. So it might be a little hard to tell who's larger, but I think it's still the Allosaurus. Next, I think, is a Pyroraptor figure. This is the new Jurassic World Dominion version, and it is the basic version as well, so you can't open and close the jaw, but you can move the arms, the legs, and the tail a bit. Let's set this down right next to the smaller Giganotosaurus figure. <laughs> Next up in size in the Scary Carnivore Collection is the Mega Raptor. This thing has some super bright coloring. You can tell that it is a feathered dinosaur. You can see some feathers on its legs, on its tail, on its arms. It's pretty cool. So let's set this down right next to the Mega Raptor. Next up is this slightly smaller Endoraptor, a bit smaller than the earlier version that we saw, but it has the same coloring, and this one actually does not have any action buttons, but it is super poseable. Let's put this down next to the Mega Raptor. Next in size, we've got the basic Atrociraptor figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This has the white body with the brown striping all over and those bright red eyes. Let's put this down next to the smaller Endoraptor. Here is an Amber Collection Velociraptor. I can't remember which Velociraptor this is, but it has the brown coloring with the darker striping all over its body. Looks like we're running out of room on the edge there, so we're gonna create a new row right up in front here. Next is this much smaller Indominus Rex figure. This is an earlier version of the Indominus Rex compared to this one way over here on the edge, and look at that size difference too. And actually, I think this smaller Indominus Rex has a slightly more blue tone than the super large one. It's pretty cool. Let's put this down right next to the Amber Collection Velociraptor. For the next smallest scary carnivore, I've actually got this brand new one from Jurassic World Dominion. This one I believe is pronounced Aquilnosaurus. Let's open it up. 
So this is a pretty interesting looking dinosaur, and it's actually an extreme battle damage addition that you can see on the sides. Just click this button, and there you go, you reveal the damage underneath. Plus, you can pose its neck, and I think you can even open and close its mouth, too. There we go. That's pretty cool. Let's put this down next to the Indominus Rex. The next up in size of scary carnivores is this extreme battle damage Pyroraptor. Just like the dinosaur that we just saw, there's a button on top that activates the battle damage. Plus, the rest of its body is poseable as well. And check out the size difference from this Pyroraptor to this basic Pyroraptor right there. A huge difference in size. Let's put it down right up front here. All right, now we're getting down to the really small ones. Here is a super small Atrociraptor figure. It has the same color as the basic Atrociraptor that we saw earlier, but is a whole lot smaller. So let's put this right next to the Pyroraptor. And I've actually got one more Atrociraptor figure in here with totally different coloring. This one is a bright orange with tan stripes on its body, and it's got some yellow evil looking eyes. So let's put this right next to the smaller Atrociraptor right in front. And it looks like we've got a few Velociraptor figures in here. This first one is Velociraptor Blue with the iconic blue striping down both sides of its body. So let's put Velociraptor Blue right next to the orange Atrociraptor. And this other Velociraptor that I've got in here is a brown, and yellow Velociraptor. It's pretty similar to Velociraptor Blue, but different coloring, and it's got some reflective green eyes. That's pretty cool. Let's set this one down. And finally, I've got some super small Jurassic World scary carnivore figures in here. Let's put these on the table and check them out one by one. I think the first largest is probably this Baryonyx. I think it's a Baryonyx figure. It's all green in color, so not a whole lot of difference with the coloring, but it's got a decent amount of texturing. Let's put this next to the larger Velociraptor. Next up in size, let's see, I think is probably this Velociraptor figure. This one has two different colors on it, even though it's so small. Oh no, actually three. It's got a pink tongue and the two tones of gray on its body. That's pretty cool. Let's put it down next to the Baryonyx. Next up is the Carnotaurus figure. I got this one pretty recently in a pack and you can actually open and close its mouth. Let's set this one down here. And last of all is this Baryonyx figure that actually came in the same pack as this little Carnotaurus. Let's put them side by side and it is a bit smaller. All right, we're finished. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we are checking out my collection of Jurassic World Predators versus Herbivores. Let's get started with these brand new ones that I just bought. Here is a huge one. This is the Isla Sorna Capture Pack. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, here is our Jurassic World Jeep and the Parasaurophilus. With this Jeep, there's actually a button you can press that shoots out the seat. And then you can see that there's a missile that it shoots too, just like this. That's super cool. This is a super awesome dino hunting playset. Really cool. All right, up next, we've got a Jurassic World Legacy Collection Velociraptor. Let's get this out of the box. All right, so here is the brand new Velociraptor. I don't think I actually have a Velociraptor with this type of coloring. Plus, this Velociraptor has a slashing action with its torso. Look at that spinning motion. That is so cool, it's spring-loaded so it bounces back and forth. That is really awesome. All right, up next, we've got the Pachycephalosaurus. I love the coloring on this one. It's got that dark blue with the gray. Let's get this out of the box. This is a super cool herbivore. You definitely don't want to get headbutted by this dinosaur. Check out this action move. Spring-loaded head. That is so awesome. And right back here, we've got the Cosmoceratops. That is so interesting. 
Look at all the horns all over this one's body. Let's get it out of the box. Wow, I love the way this dinosaur looks. It looks like it's wearing a crown almost. And look at the horns on the side too. And this dinosaur has an action as well. Check that out. When you wiggle the tail, the head goes up and down. How cool is that? All right, I know you've been looking at this one. This is a giant velociraptor. Look how big this figure is. It's probably, oh, I don't know, maybe three feet from tail to head. And it's actually pretty heavy too. This dinosaur has a stomach compartment right here. So you can actually feed this dinosaur littler dinosaurs or whatever you want. And it'll go down the throat all the way into the stomach where you can open it up and get those toys out again. That is so awesome. And look at the size of these claws too. Right in the back here, we've got the great Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at the size of this dinosaur. Look at the size of its body. That is a huge neck and face. And of course, there's the action button for roaring. That is so cool. There's so many teeth in its mouth. And of course, you can wiggle the tail and it'll move its head back and forth. Up next, with a super long neck, we've got the awesome Brachiosaurus. Look at that interesting bump on its head right there. That is so cool. This figure doesn't have any movable parts, but it is super realistic with its coloring and its texture. That is so cool. And one of the next huge dinosaurs in this haul, the great Indominus Rex with battle damage. Look at all those teeth and the awesome battle damage on the side that you can turn on and turn off. There we go. Right up here, we've got a Stegosaurus with a gray-blue coloring. Look at that tail swiping action. That is so cool. And you can adjust the head too. Here's one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. That is super awesome. It's got a little battle damage on its head. And with the tail, you can move the head. Here's what I think is one of the scariest predators in Jurassic World. This is the Scorpios Rex. It's got loads of teeth in its mouth, super sharp claws, and look at this poisonous tail. Those quills on its tail are poisonous, so you better watch out for those. Here is a super bright dinosaur. This is a predator. It is the Suchomimus. Look at that long mouth with all those teeth. Kind of like an alligator, really. And look at that fin all along its back right there. Right over here is an herbivore. This is the Ankylosaurus. And look at all that armor plating. Here is a scary looking predator. Look at that red all along its neck. This is the Carcharodontosaurus. This is a super cool looking dinosaur. See all those spikes along its back? That is super awesome. Right over here, this predator looks kind of like an alligator too. This is the Sarcosagus with all those teeth in its mouth and this red scaling all along its back and then the green bottom. All right, we've got a bunch more predators and herbivores in here. These two are both Carcharodontosauruses and look at the difference in coloring too. I think this one's my favorite because I love this orange right along the top of its body. But these are both super cool dinosaurs. Right over here, we've got another herbivore. And look at the horns on this. It kind of reminds me of the horns of a bull, kind of. This is a Nasudoceratops. And it's got an action button in the back. It can whip its tail back and forth. That is super awesome. 
and it's got a button on the top for swinging its horns around too. Watch out for those horns. All right, let's keep digging. Ooh, this is an interesting looking herbivore. This is a Calivosaurus. I love the coloring on this. Got the yellow on the top and the dark blue on the sides. And you can move the head up and down and the tail and all the legs too. Uh-oh, better watch out. Here's another predator. It's the Baryonyx. This is super cool. Check out that chomping action. Here is another herbivore. This is a very uniquely colored dinosaur. This is a Zuni Ceratops, and it kind of reminds me of a Triceratops, you know? See those two horns in the front right there? That is super cool. We've got some smaller herbivores in here. Let's check these out. Wow, these are all so different from each other. This is a Chialingosaurus. Look at those spikes on its shoulder too. How interesting is that? This little one right here is a Protoceratops. It looks very small and it might be a young Protoceratops, but it is super cool. This orange dinosaur is a Gallimimus. Look at that long neck and the long tail. I bet these dinosaurs ran really fast. And this little dinosaur is a Triceratops. See, got the three horns on its head right there. But wait, we've got some more predators in here. Look out, it's the Endoraptor, one of the sneakiest and smartest dinosaurs out there. Let's check out these. This is a baby Brachiosaurus. You can open and close its mouth and move its neck up and down. And this is another giant Stegosaurus. It's got that tail swinging action. Those spikes are super big. Wow, that is so neat. Here comes another predator. This is the Spinosaurus. Look at that huge spine along its back and then all those teeth right up front. All right, we've got a few more dinosaurs in here. This huge dinosaur figure is a Pentaceratops. And check out these action buttons. Those are some massive horns on its head. Right back here, we've got another Paraceropholis. And this is an older one. This is actually from Jurassic Park. And it's got a running action too. How cool is that? Super cool. We've got just a few dinosaurs left. This dinosaur is called a Cynoceratops. And look at the size of that one horn on its head in the very front. That is humongous. Right, here's another predator. This is a bright red and green velociraptor with jumping action. Check that out. Here he goes, ready and go. All right, these are our final three dinosaurs of the predator versus herbivore collection. This is a Styracosaurus. And look at all those horns, that is super cool. This interesting looking one is a Shringosaurus those huge horns right on the top of its head and a super long neck. How interesting is that? And our final dinosaur of the bin is the mighty Kentrosaurus with those huge spikes on its side. And if you pull this lever right here, it swings its spikes back and forth. Welcome back.
back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a ton of Predator dinosaur figures from the Camp Cretaceous collection. And I've even got some huge brand new ones to open up today. Let's go ahead and start with these brand new ones. Let's start with the biggest one at the bottom here. This is the super colossal Indominus Rex. Let's open it up. This thing is already huge. Let's get those legs and tail on. Here is the fully assembled super colossal Indominus Rex. So first off, it has the typical coloring that uh, the smaller Indominus Rexes have. But when you open up the mouth, you can see that there's a tunnel that goes all the way down into the stomach compartment right here. So you can actually feed this Indominus Rex miniature dinosaurs and then empty it out through the stomach right here. That is super cool. Plus, even though this thing is huge, it still is fully adjustable. Of course, you can adjust the jaw. You can also twist the neck. You can adjust the arms up and down. You can move the legs and ankles. And of course, you can move the tail. All in all, I'd say this dinosaur is probably around two feet tall and maybe three feet long. We've still got two brand new dinosaurs to open up. Let's start with the Albertosaurus. All right, so this is a medium sized dinosaur. As you can see, it is a mostly green dinosaur, but it has those red striping on its side from the head all the way to its stomach on both sides. And there's an action button on the tail. If you press the button, it chomps the jaw. Plus, if you twist the tail, it moves its head back and forth like that. I have a few other Albertosauruses. Some of them even have battle damage on the side. This one does not, so this is just the normal primal attack Albertosaurus. Next up, we've got a feeding frenzy Indominus Rex. Let's open it up. All right, here is the Feeding Frenzy Indominus Rex. Let's check it out. So it has the same coloring as the huge one that we just saw. And it has this huge face and jaw too. This dinosaur comes with tons of sound effects and it comes with this piece of meat. Let's see what happens when you feed it. So it's making some growling noises. And when it hits the trigger in there, its eyes start glowing too. That is pretty cool. And I love how big the teeth are on this dinosaur as well. Just look at that. Those are so huge. Right up top here, we've got another Indominus Rex. This one is still huge. Not quite as huge as the super colossal one that we just opened up. And as you can see, it's colored kind of the same. It has some dark gray on the top and a lighter gray on the sides. It's got those orange eyes. And this dinosaur has two action buttons on it. First, you've got the tail button that activates the jaw. And then you've got a button on its back that activates the slashing action. All in all, this is a really cool Indominus Rex figure. Up next, we've got a giant Spinosaurus with dark green coloring on the sides. And on its spine, there's red, white, and a little bit of green at the bottom. Plus, this Spinosaurus is fully adjustable with the neck, the arms, the legs, and the tail. And of course, you can press the button on the top of its head to open its jaw. This is a super awesome figure and huge. Right up here, we've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but I believe that this one was custom colored. So you won't really see coloring like this on other T-Rexes that you can get. But look how cool it is. It's bright red, black on the top, and then the orange on the sides. It almost looks like the T-Rex is on fire. That is so awesome. Back here, we've got another T-Rex. This one is normal color. It's got brown on the sides, a darker brown on the top, and the tan belly. Plus, this dinosaur has a few action buttons as well. You can move the tail and it moves its head around, which I really like, it's super realistic. And there's even a button on the tail that you can press to open its jaw. Back here, we've got another T-Rex, but this one is battle damage. Look at that, right on the side. And pressing the button, you can turn it on and off. 
That is super awesome. And this T-Rex is fully adjustable with the legs, tail, neck, and the jaw as well. Back here, we've actually got another battle damage T-Rex, but this one is a bit different than the other one. Instead of having the thing on its side right here, you can see that there's a bunch of slashes all over its body, on the tail, on its legs, on its belly, and even on its face. And just like the other T-Rexes, this is fully adjustable. You can move the tail, the legs, the arms, the neck, and this one has a button at the top to make it roar. Here is another giant Spinosaurus with different coloring than the last one we saw. This one is mostly brown with the red detailing. You can see along its face, it's got that bright red coloring as well as along its spine. And even on the top, you can see that there's a lighter tan and then a dark brown color right along the top. That is super cool. Fully adjustable and it has the button on the head that you can use to open its jaw. Up next, we've got the mighty Carcharodontosaurus. This dinosaur is a mostly tan yellow coloring, but you can see that there's orange and brown striping all the way up to its head. And this dinosaur has an action button as well. With the button on its back, you can do the chomping action. Here is the Tarbosaurus. This dinosaur has totally different coloring. It is a dark gray color with black stripes all along its body. It's got those spikes all along its spine and right on its chin and on its neck is a bright red color. This dinosaur is fully adjustable with its arms, legs, tail. The tail actually controls the head and the button on the tail controls the jaw as well. Here is another fierce predator. This is an Allosaurus. It's a dark green color with red and white speckles on its neck and face. And it is fully adjustable and it's got this slide action. That is super awesome. Right over here, we've got the great Metriocanthosaurus. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a yellow green color on the sides. It's got the green coloring on top with the action button that controls its jaw. And it is fully adjustable in the legs and arms as well. Right over here, we've actually got a few Baryonyxes with totally different coloring. This first one, gray coloring with blue and a bright blue on the top and it has a slide action for its roars. This second Baryonyx is brown colored and it has blue detailing on the top and a bright orange top of the head. And the action button on this dinosaur activates the jaw. All right, here's another massive predator. This is a Carnotaurus. This dinosaur can be controlled by its tail. When you move its tail, it moves its head around. There's also a button on the tail to activate the jaw. And I love the coloring on this. This is like a dark brown red color with speckles of like a gray color as well. So it's quite detailed and fully adjustable as usual too. Right over here, we've got a super long nosed dinosaur. This is the Sarcosagus. This is a clay red color on the top. Look at all those spikes along the top of its body. And along the bottom is a dark green color. But I love the detail of all those spikes along its back. That really gives it a strong texture. That's really cool. And the tail, of course, controls the head so you can move the head around. Right back here, we've got a winged dinosaur. I'm sure you recognize this from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Quetzalcoatlus, and it has two action buttons. The first on the top flaps its wings, and there's actually one on the bottom that controls the mouth. Oh, here's a dinosaur you don't see too much of. This is a Ceratosaurus. This dinosaur is gray with splotches of dark brown and of course the red back and the super bright red face with the white horn on the very top. This dinosaur has an action button on its back that controls its jaw and the rest of its body is fully adjustable. 
Right back here is another sarcosagus, but this one has totally different coloring. It's got the blue bottom, the dark purple top, same spines though, and then it's got orange and red splotches all over its back. That is super cool. Here is another unusual predator. This is the Majungasaurus. This dinosaur is pretty brightly colored. Although it's mostly green in the back, it has those bright yellow coloring right along its back and that bright blue color right on its neck and on its head. And this figure has quite a lot of sound effects as you can hear. The tail also moves the head around so you can make it look super realistic. This is another super noisy dinosaur. This is the Cryolophosaurus. This figure is dark blue around most of its body. And it's got the orange head and neck as well. I love that accent. And with this tail, you can adjust the head and wiggle it around. How cool is that? All right, here is a full-sized Allosaurus. I love the coloring on this dinosaur. It's got the tan yellow bottom and the bright blue top. That is so cool. I think we've actually got two Allosauruses here, both with different coloring. Well, let's check this one out first. This one has two action buttons on the top. The first controls its jaw and the second button controls its arms. How cool is that? The legs are fully adjustable and the tail you can twist as well. The second Allosaurus is mostly gray with the yellow splotches all along the top of its body. And this has one action button on its back where you press it and it controls the jaw. Right over here, we've got a brightly colored Suchomimus. This is a bright yellow with brown along its spine and this dinosaur has a few action buttons. The first controls its neck and jaw, and the second controls its tail. Plus, the rest of the figure is fully adjustable as well. Oh, here's actually a second Suchomimus with totally different coloring. This one is mostly blue along the entire body, but it's got the yellow detailing along its spine as well as those splotches. And this Suchomimus has one action on its back. When you press it down, it does a chomping action. All right, here's another Baryonyx with different coloring. This Baryonyx is light brown on the sides and the belly, and on the top has a dark blue coloring all along its back to the tail and to the head. But the coolest part of the coloring is this super reflective blue coloring right on its head. This Baryonyx is fully adjustable and it has one action button for its jaw. Here is another Cryolophosaurus. This one is differently colored than the last one that we saw. It's mostly yellow with the brown on the top and of course the bright orange crown on its head. This dinosaur is fully adjustable. You can move the tail to adjust the head. And of course, as you can hear, it comes with tons of sound effects. Here is another Metriacanthosaurus, but once again, different coloring than the last one we saw. This one is a bright red color with brown detailing all along its back. And on the head, you can see that it's got that bright orange and yellow coloring. There is one action button on this dinosaur and that controls the jaw. Up next, we've got another Carcharodontosaurus. Check out the coloring on this one. This is a bright blue coloring, and it's got the brown and orange specks on its back and neck, and right around its eye as well. This dinosaur is fully adjustable with legs, arms, and tail, and there's one action button on its back that when you press, it does a chomping action. All right. We've got another Baryonyx right here. This one is bright green with brown on the top. And as usual, the arms and legs are fully adjustable and there is one action button on the top that controls its jaw. 
All right, check this one out. I remember this from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is a Dimetrodon. And look at that huge spine on its back. It's red with yellow speckles all over it. And with this dinosaur figure, when you wiggle the tail back and forth, it opens and closes its jaw. All right, I see a ton of Velociraptors in here. Let's pull a few out. This Velociraptor is a green color with a darker green along the top and is fully adjustable. Even with the mouth, you can open and close. The second Velociraptor is different coloring. This is a blue along most of its body. It's got the tan bottom, but the coolest part of all, it's got the yellow along the top and a shining gold along its head. It's actually reflective, which is super cool. And this Velociraptor is mostly tan. You can see it along the bottom and the sides with a brown top. But most importantly, this Velociraptor has a slashing action. It is spring-loaded, so you can actually twist its torso back and forth, and it'll do this slashing action. All right, right over here, we've got a baby T-Rex with a jaw-chomping action, brightly green-colored and fully adjustable. And this is a Dilophosaurus. It is mostly gray colored with darker gray along the top, but this Dilophosaurus actually has an action. When you move the tail, it activates its frills. That's so cool. We've still got more Velociraptors in here. Let's check them out. Here are four Velociraptors. The first is an orangish Velociraptor and it has the slashing action. The next Velociraptor is a bright red color with green striping on the top. Look at how bright this Velociraptor is, and it is fully adjustable. The next Velociraptor is a classic one. This is blue, and it comes with battle damage on the side as well. And this Velociraptor is more of a yellow coloring with brown on the top. This one also comes with battle damage on the side as well. All right, just a few dinosaurs left. This is a Herrerasaurus. It is all green and it has different shades of green all along its body. And it is fully adjustable with the mouth, the neck, the arms, and the legs. Over here, we've got a weird looking dinosaur. This is the Shringosaurus. Look at those huge horns on its head and the brown coloring on the top and the yellow on the sides. This is quite the odd looking dinosaur, at least I think so. And our last two dinosaurs of this collection. First, we've got the Great Dimorphodon. This is mostly a gray color with a dark red along the bottom of its wings, but it's still fully adjustable with its legs, its mouth, its neck, and its wings. And this Velociraptor is a dark gray color with yellow detailing right along the top of it and is fully adjustable as well. Today, I'm showing you all of my T-Rex figures from biggest to smallest, so let's jump in. My first biggest T-Rex is this super colossal T-Rex from Jurassic World. This T-Rex has a bright orange body with a darker brown top. And just like all my super colossal figures, it can swallow miniature dinosaurs down its throat to the stomach compartment that you can open it up. My next biggest T-Rex is this super colossal Jurassic Park T-Rex. This is actually from Jurassic World Dominion. It has a much darker body. It's got black on top brown on the sides and a lighter underbelly. It's got a huge jaw and this figure can also swallow miniature dinosaurs and open them up in the stomach compartment. Next up, we've got a Jurassic Park T-Rex. I believe this T-Rex was called the Bull T-Rex. And this figure too can swallow miniature dinosaurs and other small stuff and you can empty it out in the stomach compartment. Right on top here, we've got the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure has some of the coolest coloring out of all the T-Rexes that I have. And it is remarkably adjustable too. You can bend the legs in all different directions, at the knees, at the ankles. You can bend the arms, you can twist the neck, and you can open the mouth, of course. 
Next, I've got this huge Jurassic World T-Rex with this ginormous head. This figure has the black top and brown sides, just like the super colossal T-Rex from Jurassic World Dominion. And this T-Rex can be controlled by moving the tail around. Back here, we've got, I believe what is called the Terran T-Rex or something like that. The special feature on this T-Rex is the tearing action with its mouth. Swings its head around and closes it at the same time. And it's got a secondary action button to swing the tail around too. This T-Rex, also from Jurassic World, is a stomping T-Rex. When you twist the tail, it stomps its legs up and down. And it has those cool sound effects too. Plus, as you notice with the cage, it actually breaks free from the cage just by pressing the button on its back. That is pretty cool. Here we've got another Jurassic Park T-Rex. So this is a very old figure. It's got the rubber body. And with this T-Rex figure, you can move the tail to swing the head back and forth. So it's not as advanced as the new Jurassic World T-Rexes, but it's still pretty cool. We've got tons more T-Rexes to go. Let's keep digging. This huge T-Rex with similar coloring as the first super colossal T-Rex that we saw has some pretty cool functions. When you swing the tail, it swings its head back and forth, and it has a roar function when you move the tail, and a chomping action, all just by moving the tail. That is pretty cool. Over here, we've got a darker gray colored T-Rex with some brown on the top. This is also by Jurassic World, and you can twist the neck around, you can open the jaw, there's a button on top, activate the chomping, and you can swivel the tail around and move the legs as well. I think this one's bigger than the rest of them. This T-Rex has one of my favorite functions. It's actually battery operated, so that when you press the button on its tail, it opens its mouth and shakes. It actually has a motor in it to do that, which is pretty cool. Plus, you can move the tail around to swing its neck around to look. That's really cool. This T-Rex was custom colored a long time ago. It's got the bright green on the side, and it's got like camo colors and black all over the rest of its body with the lighter underbelly. And just like that bright orange T-Rex we saw just a second ago, you can control chomping and roaring with this figure just by moving the tail around. Next up, we've got a light brown T-Rex from Jurassic World. This is very similar in function to the darker gray figure that we just saw. It has the chomping button on the top of its head. You can move its neck around and you can adjust the rest of its body parts too. This is the extreme battle damage T-Rex from Jurassic World. It's got some different patterning along the top of its body compared to the rest of them. But the most important part is the battle damage on both sides that you can press this button up top to turn it on and off. Plus, the rest of the figure is very adjustable as well. Here's another T-Rex with some battle damage on it. It doesn't have the extreme battle damage on the side that you can turn on and off, but it does have these slashes all over its body, even its legs and its tail too. The rest of the figure is very adjustable, and of course, the button at the top of the head for chomping. Next up, we've got another custom colored T-Rex. This one is a super bright red color. It looks kind of like fire in my opinion. And it's got the black on the top and the orange striping right along the sides. And this figure is adjustable just like many of the other figures that I've shown so far too. Next up, we've got another bright orange T-Rex with the brown top. This figure is fully adjustable throughout its body and it's got the chomp button at the top of its head. Here's one of my favorite T-Rexes. This is a dark green color, and I'm not sure that I have any other green colored T-Rexes in my collection, so this one's pretty special to me. It's also got the black detailing along the top, and its body is fully adjustable with the legs, tail, arms, and neck, and there's the button at the top of its head for chomping. Let's keep going, we still got quite a few T-Rexes to go. This T-Rex is from the old Jurassic World toy line. It's got a rubberized neck, so it's a bit flexible there, as well as the rubberized tail. And it has a chomping action with the tail. Now we're getting down to some slightly smaller T-Rex figures. This is a Jurassic World T-Rex, and it is actually a hybrid. 
It's got some spikes on the top of its head that you can push down and activate them by pressing the button on the back. Here is another custom colored T-Rex from the old Jurassic World toy line. It is bright red in color with black spots all over and the yellow underbelly. And it also has a chomping action on its back. Here's another similar T-Rex from the old Jurassic World toy line. This T-Rex is light tan in color all over its body. It's a little bit lighter on its belly. And just like the other two that we just saw, it has the chomping action button on its back. All right, this next T-Rex is a little bit smaller. This is a Jurassic Park T-Rex. I believe it's a juvenile T-Rex and it's actually got some battle damage right on the side. Next up, we've got a new Jurassic World Dominion figure. This, I believe, is the Sound Surge T-Rex. It's pretty small in size and you have to open and close its jaw manually, but it does come with some awesome sound effects. And we've got some model T-Rexes in here. I'm not sure what brand this is from, and you can't move any of the limbs or the jaw on this figure, but it's got the dark brown coloring. It's got some interesting shading and black stripes all over its body. Here is another dark brown model T-Rex, but on this one, you can open and close its jaw. It's also got the black stripes and the lighter underbelly too. Check out that little bit of yellow right there on its nose. It's interesting. Here is a dark green model T-Rex. This one, you cannot move any of its body parts. So it is standing in this awesome roaring pose, just like I'm sure you've seen in the movies. Here is a bright orange or red model T-Rex. With this figure, you can open and close the jaw. Check out all those little teeth. And this figure looks quite a bit more muscular than a lot of the T-Rexes, I will say. Here is a super bright model T-Rex. It's got the bright blue along the top of its body, as well as the gold stripes. It's got a gray underbelly and some teal coloring right along its face. Here is a darker model T-Rex. I love the attention to detail with the skin. It's like you can see all these little bumps all over its body. It's got the black stripes as well. And on this model, you can open and close its mouth. Here is a super striped T-Rex. This has some really bold black stripes right along the top of its body, while the rest of its body is this soft tan or orange color. And it's got some super bright yellow eyes too. And unfortunately, you cannot move any of the body parts on this model. Next up, we've got a light green colored T-Rex with some darker shading and detailing along its body. You can see those bumps right along its spine. And this figure does not have any moving parts either. So it is stuck in this roaring pose. We've got some even smaller T-Rexes in here. Here is a Jurassic World T-Rex that is pretty small. It's probably seven inches from tail to the nose and it fits easily in my hand. It's got some battle damage on the side and the tail controls the jaw and face. We've actually got a few more Jurassic World T-Rexes just like that last one. This first one is actually a hybrid T-Rex. It is a hybrid with a Dilophosaurus, as you can tell by these huge frills on the front. It's still got the battle damage on the side and it's got this reflective gold along the top of its body and the very front too. And this T-Rex has a bright green body. It's got the battle damage on the side still and some darker detailing right along its face. This T-Rex figure is from Jurassic Park. So this is a super old figure. It's got some interesting purple detailing along the top. It's got a tan body. And actually this figure has a unique feature on the leg. You can actually bend it like that because it is a broken leg for this T-Rex. Right over here, we've got another juvenile T-Rex. This one has a bandage on its leg and the restraint on its mouth. So it can't bite people. It is super bright green with some cool detailing along the back and is very adjustable with all of its limbs too. This baby T-Rex is also from Jurassic World. It is bright green or yellow in color with some detailing along the top. And when you pull down on the tail, it chomps its jaws shut. All right, we've got some super small T-Rexes in here. I believe this one is from Jurassic World. I'm not sure actually but they are both brown in color. This one is very adjustable. You can even move the tail around, you can move the legs and open and close the jaw. 
but this figure doesn't have any moving parts actually. And our last two T-Rexes of this collection from biggest to smallest. We've got a bright blue T-Rex with black stripes and no movable body parts. And this T-Rex here can move the legs, you can twist the tail around, and you can open and close the jaw too. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a huge collection of Jurassic World Apex Predators, meaning that they are at the top of the food chain. And I've actually got a brand new Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Jurassic World Legacy Collection that we're gonna open up first. Here is the brand new T-Rex and the baby T-Rex. I already have one of these T-Rexes, but I think this is the first of the green T-Rex that I have. So I'm super excited to check this one out. As you can see, most of its body is a dark green color. It's got the lighter underbelly and it's got the black detailing right along the top. And it's about as adjustable as my other T-Rex figures. So you can move the ankles, you can move the legs into different positions, move the tail around. And then the neck you can also move around so it can look in different directions. And of course, there's the button at the top of its head for the chomping action. This is a really cool looking figure, and I'm sure that the T-Rex is one of the best known apex predators. Here we've got a dinosaur that you can't find in real life, but I'm sure it would be an apex predator if it was real. This is the Indominus Rex, and this is one of the big figures. You can see that it's pretty adjustable. You can move the legs into different positions, and that causes the dinosaur to look up and down. You can see it moves its neck back and forth like that. This figure also comes with the two action buttons, one for the chomping, and then one on the back for the slashing action. This is another T-Rex. This one is mostly brown. It's got the dark brown on the top, lighter brown on the sides, and then a tan on the bottom. And this T-Rex figure has a tearing action, actually. So when you press this button on its back, it tears just like that. And there's also a second action button that swings the tail back and forth. Here is a Carcharodontosaurus with blue coloring on its body and the orange and brown detailing on the top. This also has one action button for chomping. Plus you can adjust the arms and the legs and the tail as well. Next up, we've got two Endoraptors. And obviously these dinosaurs aren't from real life, but if they were, I can guarantee you that they would be an apex predator. I just remember them from the Jurassic World movie. These were some of the most feared dinosaurs. This first Endoraptor is a more basic figure. You can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail, but you can adjust the neck or open and close the mouth. But on this second Endoraptor figure, this one is super adjustable. It's got a bunch of points of articulation. Again, it's a double jointed tail. You can bend the knees, you can bend the ankles. You can adjust the arms fully and you can open and close the mouth too. Right over here, we've got two Sucomimuses. This one is a blue with yellow detailing and this one is yellow with brown detailing on the top. This one has two action buttons, one for chomping and one for the tail. This Sucomimus only has one action button that activates the jaw. Right up top here, we've got a smaller figure, but still a fearsome predator. This is a Baryonyx. Got the green sides and belly and the brown top. The arms and legs can articulate and move around. And there's an action button on its back for chomping. Back here, actually, we've got another Baryonyx. This one has a brown body and sides with the dark gray blue coloring on the top and the bright orange detailing right on the top of its face. And just like the other figure, the legs and the arms can move too. Here is an older Jurassic World figure. You can see that this is another T-Rex. It's got the full tan body, and on its head it's got some gray detailing. It's got those yellow eyes and an action button on its back to activate the jaw. Here we've got a newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. 
This is a Yang Truanosaurus. It's got the green body, a lighter yellow underbelly. It's got some brown detailing along the top and then that bright orange piece right on its head. This figure is pretty adjustable with its arms and its legs. You can see that moving the legs dips its head down like that. And the tail controls the jaw and can move the neck around too. Back here is another newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. This is a Scorpio Venator. This figure has an orange belly and sides. It's got some white detailing right along the top and a dark gray blue color right along the top of its head. This figure is fairly adjustable. You can move the arms and the legs. And when you push down on its legs, it does a chomping action. This one is another T-Rex. This T-Rex though is the battle damage edition. It's got the button on top that you can use to turn on and off the battle damage, which is a pretty awesome feature. This figure is pretty adjustable too. You can move the ankles, can move the legs up and down. The tail only has one joint in it though, but the neck of this T-Rex is really adjustable. You can have them look in all directions and you can open and close its mouth really easily. This is a Carnotaurus figure. It's got the clay red body with the darker detailing spots on the sides and the brown right along the top. You can see that the Carnotaurus has a lot of bumps and ridges in that spine right there as well. And with this figure, the tail controls the head and there's a button as well to open and close its mouth. Here's another newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. And I think this is one of my favorite newest dinosaur figures. This is the Rajasaurus. This figure also has a chomping action when you press down on the legs and you can adjust its arms, its legs, and even twist its tail around a little bit. I love this dinosaur's head. You've got the horn right at the top and you've got this really cool smaller spine right on its neck, these spikes. It's really cool. Here we have another very well-known apex predator. This is a Velociraptor. This specific one is actually Velociraptor Charlie from the Amber Collection. So this figure is very adjustable. It can move all the different parts of its arms and legs, and you can adjust its head quite a bit as well too. And it's even got this headpiece right behind its face too. This is another ginormous T-Rex, and this T-Rex is pretty adjustable as well. As you can see, you can move the arms up and down, you can adjust the leg position, and instead of moving the neck and face up here, you actually can control it with the tail by swiveling it. This is another Velociraptor from the Amber Collection. This one is Velociraptor Echo. This Velociraptor has the light brown coloring as well as the dark black right on top. And just like the other Amber Collection Velociraptor, it is very adjustable on all different parts of its body. You can even move the claws on its feet up and down. Back over here, we've got a smaller Indominus Rex figure. This is an older Jurassic World figure. It's got the battle damage on the side that you can open and close. And this figure is fairly adjustable as well. You can move the legs a little bit, you can move the arms just a bit and the tail controls the mouth and the neck too. We've got a few more awesome looking Baryonyxes in here. This first one has a slide action for different roaring sound effects. And this Baryonyx doesn't have any buttons on it, but you can use the tail to move the head around. Right over here is a well-known predator from Jurassic World. Once again, it isn't a real dinosaur, but I can guarantee this would be an apex predator. This is the Scorpios Rex. This figure has two action buttons on its back, one for the mouth and one for the claws. And the rest of the figure is pretty adjustable too. You can move the legs quite a bit and you can adjust the neck to have it look around. And the tail is spring-loaded too, so you can fling the tail back and forth with those poisonous quills. Back here is a huge water dinosaur that I'm sure you recognize from the first Jurassic World movie. This is the Mosasaurus. This figure is ginormous. It's got a dark blue body on the top and then a white underbelly. And all over its body, you can actually see these like white specks, a little bit of detailing. And there's a few things that you can move on this figure. You can move the fins around, you can swivel the tail back and forth, and you can open and close the jaw, which is a pretty big jaw, I'd say probably fit a few small dinosaurs in there. 
Ah, here's another popular apex predator. This is the Spinosaurus. Did you know that the Spinosaurus is the largest known carnivorous dinosaur that existed? These were even bigger than T-Rexes. This figure has an adjustable tail. The legs are pretty movable, as well as the ankles. You can move the arms up and down, and you can actually adjust the neck quite a bit as well, too. Here is another awesome T-Rex Predator. This looks to be very similar as the first T-Rex that I unboxed in this video, but with different coloring. See, it's got the brown body and the darker brown on top. And just like the other T-Rex, adjustable tail, move the legs and the arms, and you can move the head around too. Here's another dinosaur from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is a Quetzalcoatlus. I didn't really know how big these dinosaurs were until I saw them in the new Jurassic World movie. These things were huge and they took down that plane. This is a Ceratosaurus. I think we actually have another one with different coloring. This one is a dark green color with black detailing on the top. And this one is a light gray with red and a darker gray detailing on the top as well. And they both have that slide action button for different sound effects and different roars. I think the sound effects are the same though. This one's an interesting looking dinosaur. This is a Cryolophosaurus. Look at that interesting crowning on the top of its head. This Cryolophosaurus has a dark blue body with white, red, and bright orange detailing. And you can move the arms, you can move the legs, and you can use the tail to move the head around. Here is another mighty Carnotaurus, the red side and the dark, it's almost like a purple color on the top. This dinosaur has an adjustable tail and adjustable legs and arms, and there's a button on the top for the chomping action. Ah, here's a species I don't think we've seen in this collection yet. This is an Allosaurus. It's got the dark green body with the red and white detailing. See, it's got those spikes right along its spines up top, and you can adjust the arms and the legs and the tail. And it's got the slide action button for different roars and chomps. This bright red dinosaur is a Metriacanthosaurus. It's a pretty interesting looking one, it's smaller than most of the other figures. It's got the bright orange detailing on the top of its head and the action button on its back for chomping. Next up, we've got, I believe, a Majungasaurus. This is a super colorful dinosaur. It's got the dark green, yellow, and blue on its neck. It's got those teal eyes. And like many of the other dinosaur figures, you can use the tail to move the head and neck around. This is an Albertosaurus with the Battle Damage Edition. As you can see, it's got two different types of battle damage. One that's right there on the top of the plastic and one that you can actually open up. This has the stomach and ribs that you can close down and then the skin that you can do to cover all of the battle damage. That's pretty cool. The rest of the figure is pretty adjustable too. You can move the legs, arms, and tail as well as the neck and you can open and close the mouth manually. Over here is the Carcharodontosaurus with a blue body and orange and brown detailing. Look at all those spikes right along its spine too. It's interesting how they're all different heights. With this figure, you can move the arms, legs, and tail, and there's an action button on top for chomping. Here is another Allosaurus with different coloring and different actions too. Check out those spikes right along its spine. You can see the two action buttons right here, one for the mouth, and one for the arms. And I think we actually have one more Allosaurus in here with different coloring. This one is gray with yellow detailing. You can only move the arms and legs in this figure aside from the action button on its back that controls its mouth. Right over here is another Albertosaurus. This figure is about medium sized and it does not have any battle damage like the one we saw earlier but it's still pretty adjustable. You can move the arms, the legs, and you can use the tail to control the face. 
Here is another Carnotaurus. This one is a newer figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. As you can see, it's got the broken horn in the front, and this figure is smaller, but pretty adjustable. You can move the legs, the arms, twist the tail, and you can move the head and jaw around too. Here are a few small Dilophosaurus figures. This first one is mostly gray with red detailing and an action button on the tail that activates the frills. The second one is a bit more brightly colored. It has a green body and two different tones of orange, as well as the action button to activate the frills. And last but not least, we've got a bunch of smaller Velociraptor figures. Oh, actually. This is another baby T-Rex, just like we saw at the beginning of the video. But the rest of these figures are all Velociraptors. So let's check them out one by one. First, we've got the tan and brown Velociraptor. This one has a slashing action, spring-loaded torso, so it swings back and forth. This Velociraptor has a brown and yellow body with battle damage that you can open and close on the side. This next Velociraptor has a red and dark purple body, and you can move the arms, legs, and tail, as well as the mouth, but there's no special features on this figure. And these last two figures are similar in movement, but with different coloring. It's got the blue body with the yellow and gold coloring. This one has a dark brown color with orange on the top. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaur channel, everyone. Today, we are unboxing all of my largest carnivore toys, starting with this Indominus Rex right here. As you can see, it starts with the blue, and then it fades into a nice purple, and then it's got these black stripes with the orange outline. I really like this one. This is probably one of my most colorful dinos in my collection. Moving right along, we've got this hybrid Indominus Rex right here. Check this out. It's got the gold bottom, the white sides, and then the super bright red along the top. And this hybrid Indominus Rex does have some features too. First of all, this button and out of the top, bam, come some spikes. Also, if you uh, pull its arm right here, its jaw moves up and down. It's battery operated, so it'll roar at the same time too. Let's check that out. This one is also one of my brightest predators in my collection as well. So it's one of my favorites too. Let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, I see another big one right in here. Check this out. This is an old school Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex. The whole body is made out of rubber, so it's kind of like bendable and you can see it moves quite a bit. Inside the mouth, you see that if you open it up, that there's actually a lot of space down the throat so you can fit smaller dinos in there if you want this dinosaur to eat them. Here is another rubber-coated Tyrannosaurus Rex. So you can see the whole body is like a little bit squishy, which gives it a lot more of a realistic look and feel. It feels more like actual skin. And when you squeeze the stomach here, the mouth opens and closes a little bit too. Next up, we've got this super colorful Spinosaurus. So right on the spine right there, you can see this unique coloring. It's like blue rings on its spine. And the rest of the body is like brown. It's got some tan coloring as well. And on the face and on the spine a little bit has this dark red color too. And look at those green eyes. Those are some hungry looking eyes right there. And here is another T-Rex. Let's check this one out. It has two buttons on the back. Ooh, look at that. It's got a twisting action with its jaw. And the other button swings its tail back and forth. All right, 
all the way in the back here, I can see this ginormous Indominus Rex. So this is the normal coloring for an Indominus Rex. If you look on the side right here, you can see that we've got the battle damage. And if you press the button on top, it'll change back and forth between damaged and fully healed. And as you can hear as well, it's got those awesome sound effects coming out of the speaker. And of course, we've got the button on the tail that controls the mouth. Next up, we've got another rubber-coated T-Rex. This one you can see is an older one. It's from the Jurassic Park series. So the legs move, and the legs are actually uh, solid plastic. It's just the body right here that's that rubber coating. And on this T-Rex, if you wiggle the tail back and forth, you can see that the neck also goes back and forth too. Let's check out this hybrid T-Rex right here. Right on the top, it's got those spikes that pop out when you press this button. See right here? Bam! Look at those huge spikes, and it's got some spikes on the top of its head too. And the legs move, the arms move, and the jaw as well. This is a cool hybrid T-Rex. I haven't seen that many like this one. Let me know down in the comments, have you seen a hybrid T-Rex like this before? Over here in this corner is a T-Rex, but it's got some different coloring. See, it's like camouflage almost. It's got that green and then the black stripes and like a, a brown green stripes as well. So this T-Rex, I bet, would blend in really well in the jungle. And like some of the other T-Rex toys I have, when you move the tail, the head will move as well. Let's check that out. Look at that. It's got a it's got a huge chomping action. Over here we've got another big old Spinosaurus. This one with a bit more natural coloring. You can see it's mostly green. The spine on its back is red with a white stripe on it. And we've still got that red coloring on its face up here too. And if you press the button on its head, it roars. Next up, we've got this T-Rex predator. And with the tail, you can twist the tail and the head spins. We've also got the action button on the tail. When you press it, it opens its mouth. And look at these teeth too. Man, some of these are really big. Look at the different size teeth that are all in the mouth. And here is another huge Indominus Rex. This is a lot like the other one that we saw just a moment ago from this bin. And on the tail, just like the other one, we've got this action button that'll make the dinosaur roar. And look at that, there's even some space in its mouth that you could fit a few small dinosaurs in there too. And I think on the Indominus Rex, these teeth are probably even more massive than a T-Rex's teeth in real life. Just look at those. On top over here, we've got a Carnotaurus. Look at these tiny little arms right there. Got the, ooh, it roars too. And look at when you twist the tail here. Its head moves as well. All right, another T-Rex. This one is, it looks kind of tan, almost a little orangish really. And it's got the adjustable head right here the button on top of its head. That'll make the dinosaur open its jaw. And as usual, adjustable legs and adjustable tail. Ooh, look at this one. It's another T-Rex. Man, I have so many T-Rexes. 
So this one, even though it doesn't have the camouflage coloring like that other T-Rex we saw earlier, this one is still brown and like a dark brown on top. So this would still camouflage into the jungle pretty well. I mean, it's kind of the same color as a tree, you know? So I think this would still blend in to the jungle and you probably wouldn't see it sneaking up on you until it was too late. Over here in the back, we've got a Jurassic World Indominus Rex. And this one is actually a bit different from the other Indominus Rexes that we've seen in this hall so far because the hands actually activate the jaw. So when you move the arms and hands down, the jaw opens super wide. And the top of this Indominus Rex actually has that rubber coating as well. So it's all like soft up here and it feels like real skin. And then the rest of the body is that normal plastic that you see on these dinosaur toys. And next up here, we've got a T-Rex with a darker brown coating on the side and then an even darker brown on the top. And again, with these buttons, with the top button, when we press that, twist his neck and snaps his jaw shut. That's pretty powerful. And then the other button moves the tail back and forth. Let's keep digging in here. Let's see. Check out this T-Rex. So this one is actually a bit different from the other ones we've seen because when you twist the tail, it's got that huge stomping action. That's really cool. And a button on top that operates the mouth. All right, and here is our final T-Rex in the bin. This one is one of the more orange ones. And when you move the tail, just like the others, the head moves. Did you know that humans and T-Rexes have almost the same amount of bones in their body? That's crazy to think about. Humans have 206 bones and T-Rexes have 200. That's pretty close. All right, we've only got two more dinosaurs in here. Let's check them out. Here is another classic Indominus Rex. Look at those movable arms, movable legs, and the button for the jaw. And for our final dinosaur in our biggest carnivore haul is the Spinosaurus. It's got the button on top to open up the mouth and the classic spine. Look how big that spine is, too. All right, that's it for today's haul. Comment below which predator is your favorite. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.